in the morning and I'm headed to Walgreens. Um, to spare you details, I'm headed to get Jeffrey a Fleet's enema and some suppositories. So, praying that this works. Um, Walgreens is happening at 3.30 in the morning. Literally, there were eight people in there. They were like energized, joyful, buying like Arizona iced tea. It's an interesting situation. So, I'm rushing home and just praying that this works and thinking it's a good thing I'm a nurse. What's going on vlog? Welcome to week five. So, you know, for us, uh, being super transparent and honest is what we wanna do on this channel. And we wanna really walk you guys through the entire journey of what it looks like to lose a bunch of weight, have this surgery, and then obviously compete um, in a bodybuilding show. And so that's our main objective. Uh, and in doing that, a lot of times you gotta talk about stuff that you don't wanna talk about. And as you can see from the opening clip, last night was a super super rough night and uh, not to get too graphic or go into too many details but basically when you have anesthesia and you take pain pills sometimes um, going to the restroom can be very very difficult and i'll just say that last night uh, six nights in to this surgery recovery uh, was by far the worst thing i've ever experienced um, so to not get too graphic some tips that I would give you guys is uh, one, marry a rock star spouse um, because my wife is just incredible and she left our house at 3 a.m. and went to Walgreens to buy some supplies to help me get out of the excruciating pain that I was in. Um, two, before surgery, um, buy some enemas and some suppositories and have them on hand. Um, as well as uh, Colace. Colace is a stool softener. It's something I've been taking um, since I came out of surgery, but even taking that every single time I've taken my pain meds or ibuprofen um, still wasn't enough to do the trick. And so I would highly recommend um, having those other supplies on hand. That way, whoever's helping take care of you doesn't have to leave at three in the morning to uh, buy some stuff to get the job done so don't want to get too much into that but yeah last night was rough uh, but here we are we are day seven uh, seven days post-op feeling good feeling optimistic after last night I feel like that's got to be the hardest thing that I'm gonna have to go through and uh, yeah on the road to recovery so just trying not to go stir crazy sitting in the house trying to work on the computer as much as I can and uh, talk to you guys whenever I have a minute so Thanks for joining in, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So, we'll talk soon, see ya. Drinking that water. A little update. <coughs> oh my goodness. I told myself one take on this, so I'm not doing it ever. Because this is real. This vlog's about being real. Look in the camera, Jason. Um, just coming with an update because I've done a terrible job at vlogging uh, while Jeff has been gone for his surgery. So it's been a very, uh, it's been a great week and a half. Um, so updating on 212 last weekend, took my younger brother Jordan uh, up to the Charlotte area with me. We launched a new gym, Spindle City CrossFit in Gastonia, I think is how you say it. So very excited about the new gym. Um, and just had a lot going on. Honestly, just being candid, like having, having accomplished the things I wanted to for the whole fitness journey. Um, these past two weeks, it's just been very busy and was easy to make excuses on stuff and hurt my back. Uh, being in the, we were in the truck for like 16 hours. I don't know what I did, but I've always struggled with a lot of back issues. Um, I have severe scoliosis, like a 46 degree curve on the top and a 23 degree curve on the bottom. I feel like Quasimodo over here. This is how Jason feels every day. 
I fractured my lower back in college playing sports and uh, I think it's called spondylosis I have in two of my vertebrae. So a lot of issues and I feel like every once in a while my back like locks up on me and it's super painful and hard to do stuff. So have not been doing the things I wanted to be doing for the fitness journey um, the past week or so and, and really just this past going into this these past month and a half uh, it's just been it's been tough uh, for me I told Jeffrey when we started this I was like all right August is my goal to like really dial in and focus on this and I'm, I'm so proud of everything that he's done and it inspires me and I'm ready to um, you know go full force on focusing on my health uh, but the last two months I think I just I had too much on my plate um, you know running 212 and being a, a boss to you know nine different people and keeping up with the financing and, and the finances and the business side of, of 212 and just everything that entails is a lot in itself and then we have almost a two-year-old son at home and, and my wife's pregnant which we're super excited about uh, but she has hyperemesis so it gets incredibly sick uh, I think we were at the hospital five times so far in this pregnancy, so that's been really difficult to deal with. And then I have my real estate license, so I've done a lot of real estate on the side. Uh, and in the past, just doing more than typical, just you know, trying to hit some financial goals. And I think it all kind of built up and snuck on me. I was flipping a house and uh, having real estate deals going on and helping my parents with stuff with their business. They uh, they own three daycares in the area. So I just got to a point where my plate was very full uh, and uh, Jeffrey had such a great transformation. Again, it was inspiring to me because I, I've tend to put my health last uh, for the last for the last good part, um, last year or two, and especially the last few months, just trying to focus on my wife and my family and uh, getting the stuff done I had to. But I wanna say that just to say, it's easy to get discouraged and disappointed. Uh, I do that to myself all the time when you're not accomplishing goals. And, you know, I just wanna say that that's okay. Like I, I beat myself up a lot if I'm not filling every single bucket. Uh, and in the past, I feel like it's just easy to almost kind of bury it and move on. But I think I'm trying to learn. It's just, you know, look forward. And, and sometimes you gotta zoom out and realize like, hey, you've accomplished a lot of great things. And, and I don't care what anyone says. It is pretty much near impossible uh, to fill every bucket, to be a great husband, a great father, a great son, a great, a great friend, a great boss to crush it financially, physically. People that are doing it across the board, you don't see what's behind the scenes. Uh, and I always just want my objective from my standpoint of this whole vlog is to be as real as possible. Uh, and I feel like I have crushed it in a lot of areas. Uh, over the last year you know stuff with the business and financially and being there for my wife being there for my son um, but put my personal health towards the bottom of that list and and you know sometimes in life that not sometimes that list is always going to change there's just seasons of life um, so yeah the last two weeks was not accomplishing the things I, I set out and hoped for with this fitness journey but I'm going to look forward um, the last three days since I've been back home, I've been tracking my macros and have the diet right. And now it's getting back in the gym. I've been stretching and went to the gym and did the hydro bed for my back. So just trying to accomplish the things to get me back where I want to be. Um, but it can definitely be overwhelming. I, I get a lot of anxiety and stress trying to balance, you know, making 212 as great of a company as I can, being the best husband I can, being the best friend that I can. Um, you know, all the, all the checklists, it can be overwhelming for sure. Uh, so if you're out there and you're trying to accomplish goals and if you have a lot of goals, that's awesome. Um, but don't always feel like you have to do it all at once. And I do that all the time. Um, I feel like I put way too much on my plate and try to push through and I'm just trying to prove something to myself or to those around me. Like, oh, like I can do anything. I'm Superman, I can get it done. Uh, and there's times where you can, there's times where you have to pull back and realize you can't. And I feel like that was me the last few months of like, all right, I'm ready to put myself and my health as a type priority. Um, but at the same time, it's not sacrificing things that are important to me, like being there for my wife, my kids or handling the stuff that I have to. So it's definitely figuring out balance, uh, which isn't easy, but 
just want to be transparent through this time on the blog. We have a whole year, so it's a long time, or 11 months. Um, so looking forward to focusing on what I want to accomplish and uh, just continue to update you. So great things have been happening with 212. We have a new location. We had a really great week of meals and looking forward to uh, moving forward and building the business and focusing on uh, this journey and Jeffrey recovering. So that's an update for you. Got to hit some sheets and uh, get this stuff wrapped up for this weekend. And we'll see you guys soon. I'll be sure to try to vlog some more. So bye for now. It is uh, day seven post-op, and we got the text this morning from the doctor that I can have both of my chest drains removed, so that is a great sign. Hopefully, the abdominal drain can go in the next day or so. Um, the chest drains have been a lot less fluid over the last few days than the abdominal drain, which these were kind of put in last minute. Um, he didn't know if I would need them or not, so I'm glad they did because I think it helped uh, dramatically reduce the swelling in my chest but we are getting to take these out luckily my lovely wife is a nurse so she has removed plenty of drains in her day and uh, so I saved myself a trip to Charleston so I do not have to go in to have these removed so she is going to remove these right now and we figured we'd take you guys along for the ride so hopefully it's not too terrible and uh, yeah I'm going to sit back and try and relax as things are cut and pulled out of my body. Let's do it. Yeah, so drains usually are not um, painful at all. You just want to make sure, this is called a, a Jackson Pruitt drain. So once you um, are ready to take this out, you just want to make sure that the suction is not on. So this just has a top where it comes off. Normally we squeeze these to create like a vacuum type seal and then it's, it's sealed so that it creates suction to pull the, the drain out, like any fluid. So when we pull this out, we want to make sure this is emptied and it's open so it's not creating that vacuum seal. Um, and then basically what we're going to do, they're sutured in, so we're just going to go in and cut the suture. Um, that's just kind of adhering it to the skin. We're going to pull the suture out and then we're just going to quickly pull the drain. So here we go. Bindings are really hard by yourself. One, two, three. Oh, that was like a one, two, three. Pull seven times. Oh, did you get some hair? Now you know what those Brazilian waxes feel like. Um, yeah, I got a little bit of hair, so you don't have to shave that. You look good. But doing a paper tape on the back kind of helps to hold those foam pieces in place when you're doing the binders because you honestly need like three hands, and it's not possible. So. Okay, let's get these pulled out. Let's add this on. And then honestly, we probably won't even keep this on very long. It's just a matter of just kind of like stopping that insertion site from bleeding. That's gonna be fun coming off. Okay, let's do the other one. So you can see how far it was in. If you're interested. And that's like deep. That's where you were sutured and that's the end of it. So, so like so that's 16 what I'm inches. About. That's what I'm talking about. You feel that. <clears throat> you feel that coming out, yeah. But yay, that's out. Okay, let's do this other one. Happy to say that the skin on my chest does seem like it's snapping back pretty solidly. This one looks amazing. This is the only one. There's a little bit on, already looks so much better. on the right one, but it does look way better than day one. So honestly, I feel like Dr. Cranford may have pulled like a goat move and not cutting the skin. 
Um, because I do think that with some shifting after Whoops. I get some feeling back, um, kind of manipulating the skin and then obviously working out, my chest is gonna get bigger um, because I'm gonna be trying to put on muscle mass. And I do think that I will be able to fill the skin back out and not have to have another surgery, which would be fantastic because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a huge fan of surgery. Just, there's really nothing I like about it except for maybe the anesthesia right when it like hits you. But then the best nap of your life. six days later when, when your poop's trying to come out and it won't because of the anesthesia, worst part of my life, so. Anyways, here's how we're looking seven days post-op. Still very, very swollen. A lot of swelling in the abdomen still. Chest is very swollen still. Hips are Shakira size. I mean, my hips have never been this big. I got massive hips, like I'm filling out this chair. Um, and then my arms, they, my arms actually look a lot better today, but my arms are still really, really swollen. So. That's it, I'm gonna go take a shower, which is gonna feel great. And then hopefully this evening, I've got a new compression shirt coming that is a vest, like a tank top that zips up, which should be way easier to get on, hopefully, than this four piece compression shirt. Um, and it's what Dr. Cranford recommended that we order. So I have two of those coming today and um, yeah. That's all I got for you guys, so we'll check back here in a little bit. See ya. What's going on vlog? Jeffrey here, and we are wrapping up week number five. It has been a uh, fun-filled week. Lots of different interesting things have happened from the start of the week where we had issues going to the bathroom, uh, to getting my drains removed, to hearing from Jason about kind of where he's been and the struggles that he's been going through. but. Just wanted to wrap up today's episode by saying thank you guys so much. We appreciate all the love and support. I know this wasn't a super fun and crazy episode, but lots of great things happened. And next week, we have a lot of fun stuff in store for you guys. Tomorrow, I go for my two-week post-op um, doctor's appointment. So we're going to film that. And then we've got a special guest coming into town, actually arriving today. So lots of fun content coming out next week with that special guest. Um, heading out right now to go get a massage having a lymphatic drainage massage so I'm gonna talk more about that in the coming weeks and even take you guys along as I get another one because it has been super helpful I've already had one this week going for a second but yeah just want to say thank you guys make sure you like the video subscribe and we'll see you guys next week see you.